guys, you can't be always working. It's super important to take care of your rest. I'm literally in paradise right now, Hawaii. I'm gonna unplug from reality, put my phone away for a couple days and just do nothing. Enjoy the view, enjoy my beautiful hotel room and relax. Sounds good? Join me, go on vacation with me right now. This is just wrong. Forget about what I said. I can't do it for more than a couple of minutes. Guys, this is life. I know we're in paradise, but I want to find a local roofing company and see how do they work in this paradise. Because everywhere I go, if you're a professional, no matter what you do, you're always going to be looking at your trade, at your craft, anywhere you go. If you're a flooring installer, you're going to be looking at the floors everywhere. If you're a pool installer, you're going to be looking how they did pools everywhere. I'm a roofer. I have a roofing business and I'm looking at roofs. I want to talk to other roofers. I can't relax. Let's go and find local roofing company, see how they work here. My name is Brennan Leong. I own Kapili Solar Roofing and Painting and we're based out of Honolulu, Hawaii. My dad started Kapili in 2007. Uh, my family's been in the industry since 1980, so we've been involved in roofing for several generations now. Today we have 30 office employees and we have about 90 tradesmen, ranging from roofers, painters, and laborers. Kapili is a family-owned business and um, I think that that's one of the unique things about working here is that you become part of our family and we have a lot of employees that have worked here for over 15 years now. Um, we have a lot of my own classmates that work here, friends, and I think that's something unique. Oh, it's fun. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, these guys around me can't ask for much better people, man. Are you ready? Yeah. It's going to be loud. Okay. It's going to be... Sure. Okay. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you celebrate sales like that or what, yeah, yeah. what are you celebrating? Yeah, you know, celebrate, that's when we get a deal, you know, if it's not the bell that we're ringing, then it's phones that we're giving. <laughs> it's a very uh, gu um, good atmosphere. Um, I love working with these guys, so yeah. It's exciting. Working here is, there's new challenges every day. Um, it's a young team, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> we joke around a lot too. We work hard and play hard. Family, that's how I like to explain it. You go through the good and you go through the bad together. And at the end of the day, no matter how mad you get at each other, it's like all love, it's all, it's all. I noticed like nobody gets fired here, so everybody pretty much stays forever. Yeah, Brennan loves us. I think a little too much. <laughs> he lets us get away with a little bit too much here, but um, we try to make sure we pay it back to him. Yeah, that's for sure. How are you so humble? You run forty million dollar company, mm. um, but you're humble. Like you know, your employees say that about you. I get that vibe. Um, I think it's culture, and I think it's fear, because as quickly as you can gain, you can lose, and. Um, if you're defining yourself by how much money you make, you know, you'll, when you're hitting a hard time, you're going to define yourself as less. Our projects uh, range from the everyday home out here in Hawaii to uh, various military installations. And we also service the University of Hawaii and the Department of Education. So we have 17 jobs going on today, and this is one of them. We're in uh, Honolulu, we're at Kamiki Middle School and we're working on um, one of the classroom buildings here today. So this is a um, mod bit roof that we're putting on. We're putting on flat stock insulation, doing some wood repairs. Uh, we had to tear off during a Christmas break because of the hazards to the children. There's a lot of noise, debris. Um, we actually had to use this as an access point and we didn't want anything to fall on the kids. So we had to schedule around that. So on a project like this, um, it's a state project. The uh, state of Hawaii owns this building, so we're required to follow the provisions of the Davis-Bacon Wage Act. That means that um, our tradesmen actually make a little bit more money here. They 
will make the prevailing wage rates, which are about like $50 an hour plus a retirement contribution. So projects like these are really good opportunities for our team to uh, put away money for their future and to earn a little bit of extra money week to week. My dad founded the company in 2007. Um, around 2013, he had a serious health scare that made him reprioritize the things that um, he wanted to do. From that point on, I had to learn um, the various positions and continue um, gaining experience to the point where I was ready to uh, take ownership of the company. I think it's one of the best markets in the United States just because, I mean, you cannot ask for better weather. How, how much rain do you have? How many uh, days you cannot roof because of the weather? So that'll really vary because we have a lot of like um, valleys, mountains. So in some areas, it'll rain every morning and um, in other areas, you might get rain a couple times a month. So there's a lot of little microclimates around here. Um, but typically, like the first quarter of the year, we're going to get a good percentage of rain outs. So you're saying because people live here all the time, it doesn't feel like you're in paradise here. You, you, you want to work here, don't you? Well, you have to survive. You have to survive. <laughs> yeah. Cost of living is um, pretty expensive. Um, so we're in the Newtown area. Um, it's like central Oahu area right outside of Pearl Harbor. Um, we're doing a tile conversion and Lito, our foreman, he's actually one of our first employees. Uh, he's been with us since the start of the company. A lot of these homes here, um, they were built with tile roofs over skip sheeting. So there's just one buys um, over the rafters. Um, since the original build, um, the association now allows like asphalt shingles, aluminum shake and other things. So because of the popularity with um, PV and um, other types of solar, like solar hot water, um, a lot of homeowners opt to go with like a asphalt shingle now. Roofing in Hawaii is unique because we have a lot of older homes here uh, mixed with a lot of custom homes on the beach. Um, there's a wide range of products that um, we have to install and there's a wide set of conditions that we have to be aware of. What's the hardest have been in 2022? Uh, labor. Labor? So labor. Shortage of labor. How do you think you can fix it? Uh, I think the way we, what we've been trying to do is trying to make it more appealing for um, people to work here. I think that's one. I think a lot of couple things would be training, training our staff. Another thing would be, in my opinion, would be material, We're trying to get material that will help us get the job done quicker. E um, efficient, efficient. Hawaii is pretty awesome because there's year-round sun, there's lots of nice nature, there's great restaurants, um, lots of cool things to do here. One of the challenges would be um, the cost of living, the population density, the traffic, those are some things that make Hawaii a challenge, but I think that the benefits outweigh the challenges here. You have work all year round, mm -hmm. but you have other challenges. What do you do to attract people? Um, so I think, I mean, we have a very competitive wage scale in this market. I'm not sure about um, other markets, but we have a lot of work. We have a lot of uh, government work, which comes with higher wages. Um, we have profit sharing plan, 401k match. Um, yeah, we have a lot of, I guess, that kind of stuff. But um, we've also, in our company history, only laid off two people once, and that was in 2016. To me, I think that um, if I can't keep them employed for 40 years, I shouldn't hire them. Because if for they're- For 40 years. So they retire. Wow. Because if I can't provide an opportunity here that they can see themselves devoting their time and their energy into, then maybe I shouldn't hire them. So that's the, the I guess, the take that we have on hiring here. Uh, How long have you been roofing? Oh, 1980 when I start. 1980? Yeah. Kapile, almost seven years now, huh? Yeah. 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 42 years. Yeah. 1980 when I start 
start roofing. Uh, What's your favorite roofing product? It, it's the number one, international, uh, tropical, something like that. Uh. So flat roofing? Yeah. Do you like shingles? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Shingle, but uh, my specialized before, the ammonia. Oh, thank you for doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> to be a roofing contractor here in Hawaii, you need to have a state C42 license. Uh, one of those requirements is that you have four years of local experience. My advice to a homeowner looking to hire a roofing contractor would be to hire someone who's familiar with the local market and the local um, types of buildings that are there. I would also say that you should hire someone that will be there for you for the whole term of your warranty and not just come to your roof and you'll never see them again. Is customer always right? Customer is always right, most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> most of the time, love it. <laughs>